Hello, what's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel. Today I am bringing you an unboxing and we can also test this out. This is a new product. Of course, I waited for long. I ordered this on December and today is March 7th. And finally, I have received this product. It's a, you already know, it's a Wise doorbell camera. It's a very, very small camera. Um, and they said that it's gonna work really, really well. Uh, so I'm trying to replace my ring doorbell with this wise doorbell camera So you're gonna tell me if it's a good decision to do it since it's a small uh, the, the cost is really really cheaper for the device as well as the plan uh, For the cloud video storage. So that's why I decided to switch from my ring to the wise doorbell camera Is that the good decision or not? Just you tell me in the comment below but we're gonna open this box and see what's included inside. They said it comes with the chime as well. And I paid $30 for this plus the shipping charge, whatever they charge me, like five bucks, something like that. Yeah, uh, so let's see, uh, the package was this. So that's how it came in. So let's see what we have inside, okay? small the package is comparing to a uh, ring device right you can see it here so why is video doorbell wired doorbell with chime so it comes with the chime itself um, and you can see answer your door from anywhere um, it's a 1080 P video resolution 3.4 view head-to-toe night vision 12 second clips is stored free in the cloud for 14 days so that's the awesome deal you know like in the uh, on the ring camera you have to pay for no matter what the timing the length or or even for a day and like the motion detection ip65 weatherproof two-way audio and person detection and you need a subscription for that to detect the person and here the wire doorbell with chime so one doorbell and one chime uh, includes a wall plate plus a wedge plus four wire caps, plus two bracket screws, two screws and expansion tubes, two extension wires, fuse, one quick start guide, wise app and existing doorbell wires required. All right, it's really, really small box as you can see in here, right? Um, I can just fit in here. And this is my ring uh, doorbell chime. You can see how uh, compared to the only the chime itself is bigger than maybe the camera I, I think so let's open inside and see what's included in here here we go look what's right here probably this is a chime oh okay look at this this must be a chime look compared to ring device the chime itself is really really smaller than the ring you can see here there's a button probably you need to click on this button to connect with it right the wise button here let me focus this out here okay yeah you can see the button right here uh, the ring has a button over here all right let's open another package here there's a two stuff in here okay one Oh my god, can you believe this? Is this a doorbell? Maybe not. But it should be a doorbell on that size too because another box is similar size. Maybe this is all the accessories included, all the screws you needed for your wall and the, the bracket for the for your wall as well. So this is the bracket for your wall and it comes with the screws and there's instruction as well. There's a the wire cap. 
there's a four wire cap in here and there's a fuse in here that you're gonna connect with your current uh, current uh, electronic doorbell with your uh, uh, current uh, the fuse maybe the transformer for your doorbell you can use this they, they will include all the instructions here let's see uh, yeah there's a starter guide make sure you check this out properly there's all instructions over here so you have to read all those instructions on how to connect your uh, the wise doorbell with your current electronic doorbell you know um, uh, so that you don't have to charge like currently I have a doorbell this kind of doorbell for, from the ring where I have to charge the battery every time and the battery works for maybe two months or three months like that depend, depending on how you use it, right? So there's also small, another small box, box. Imagine the adapter is this small, how small the doorbell is. Looks like it's smaller than the chime, right? Alright, let's open it. Damn, this is gonna be a really, really small camera here. Look at this camera. This is a very, very small camera. You can see my hand. That's it. That's it, right? There's a button in here and there's a camera. That's all. And the opposite side, you're gonna connect your um, the electronic wire in here from your front door yeah um, currently they don't have uh, the battery um, the wise doorbell camera if you don't have your built-in wire for your doorbell then definitely you can't use this um, otherwise it's perfect for you you don't have to charge your cam um, your uh, ring doorbell like you know you charge your ring doorbell but this one you don't have to charge it yeah there's a reset button in here. You're gonna have to watch all your, you're gonna have to read all your instructions here from your quick guide. Then you will be able to set this up, right? Okay, the top hole is the microphone. And this is the lens. And uh, the Y is over here. Let me see if I can focus this. Yeah, the Y is over here. Yeah, the Y is over here. It's gonna lit the fill with the light and the bottom is the doorbell button, right? And the back side, it's the reset button over here. And this is a terminal of screws. Um, and for the chime, uh, the this is the setup button. And this is a status, status light, and this is a speaker. I don't know how loud this is going to be, but yeah. They will. They have given you the instruction on how to download the app into your Google Play Store's um, app store, and there's an installation without the wedge or installing with the wedge, and plug the wise chime into a outlet. Right? They give you. A, they give you a fuse here. Remove the extra insulation at the end of the wire um, before connection extension wires and the fuse there's a two wires included in there and they're gonna tell you all sort of things over here right all right guys now um, I'm gonna show you how I connect this and we're gonna test this out okay Alright guys, so the installation part is right here and currently I have a ring right now. So I'm replacing this ring with my WISE doorbell, right? So I have all the connections available here. These will be used on that connections. I have a doorbell here. Uh, I have a bracket here that I'm going to use it. Chime will go inside. Um, they have instructions that I need to follow so I'm deciding to take this out you see the previous bracket is also similar but that's too small see this how small it is I hope uh, I might not need the drill because uh, this might work with the previous the mechanical doorbell so I'm gonna try that and see if that works 
So the ring has provided me this where you need this screwdriver to open the bottom part for the battery. Open this, there's a battery compartment. See that, the battery? I have to charge every two months or like that. And the other side of the screw will works like this. I still have a connection, but it doesn't work. See that? There's a terminal that doesn't work. So I use this. See that? I can hear the sound if I touch that. So basically I can see that uh, it might fit with my uh, previous mechanical doorbell uh, and I was thinking that I don't have to drill it however uh, the previous mechanical doorbell was installed horizontally and I cannot do this horizontally but the vertical was for the ring doorbell bracket so uh, it's a little bit bigger than the ring. The ring doorbell bracket was bigger so this is smaller and definitely I have to drill one end at least. See that it's the horizontal it fits perfectly but this camera needs to be in vertical shape so I have to drill it. I thought I don't need to drill it but now I have to drill it. However what I'm planning is I'm going to use one point uh, from the ring, uh, ring doorbell previous bracket uh, and another point I need to drill it so I'm going to start drilling it so now you can see uh, the hole is ready uh, it was not that tough however you need a very strong um, drill um, but it all depends on your brick you know so this is the sleek wise doorbell which I'm going to install now installing the wise bracket the doorbell bracket make sure you uh, insert that wire first in the middle um, then only start screwing definitely you'll see all these instructions on the wise doorbell app as well as the starter guide they have provided inside the box so yeah make sure you take that wire out uh, from that uh, the space available right okay so I'm gonna screw these uh, from the top and the bottom um, and then uh, we will install the wise doorbell camera So now you have to make sure that you install that another part of the uh, wise doorbell um, in a proper way, the upside down. Uh, yeah, make sure that the clip you see that the middle one supposed to be on the top, right? So that way your uh, your wise doorbell will be um, in the vertical shape, in the proper position you know uh, if you do it the opposite side then it will become like upside down so make sure you look at the instructions and make sure you put it in the right direction you know so this this was the opposite uh, direction we made little bit of mistakes but however I caught that and I'm gonna swap that out upside down see that then only uh, it will work um, according to the uh, wise guidelines you can see on the quick starter guide um, there's installation instructions where you can see all those instructions make sure you don't uh, clip your doorbell before you uh, make sure everything is correctly installed otherwise it might be hard for you to take it out and once you click that once you clip your camera doorbell camera in there 
it's it's really gonna be hard to take it out so I'm gonna have to connect all the wire um, the two connectors on the back since I have a pretty good um, available wire I'm not using uh, the wise provided uh, like little short wire um, to connect it for the connector uh, but I'm using my mm -hmm. mechanical doorbell wire so I don't need to use those accessories so I'm connecting on the both end and mm -hmm. uh, we'll see if it works so once you give a power it will tell you they're ready to connect right so you go to your app and you can um, you can add your camera over here add a device and go to camera and go to wise doorbell right here if you can see it yeah and click here to skip the installation tutorial click next and it will tell you use a Phillips screwdriver needed this is not included in the doorbell package a wired installation required install it by connecting to your home existing doorbell wiring 16 to 24 volt AC <coughs> I think you can connect it any any side I don't know I have a screwdriver and existing wired doorbell hit next and prepare for installation one doorbell wall plate wedge uh, it will tell you all the uh, accessories you need for the doorbell so hit next and the required item, you have to put the wire caps on that, but we don't need it. Uh, fuse caps. Next. And you have to turn off the power switch on the breaker if you have it. I don't have it uh, on my breaker, so I don't know. I'm doing it without turning off. And it says open the chime box. You can open that up. And what does the wiring look like in a chime box? Um, you have to check your chime box as well two wires or three wires four or more wires and if it's two wires it asks you to disconnect that wires Ready to we're gonna we have to put that cap and fuse so here um, I'm not going to clip that right now until I'm done with all the setup so now the next part is to um, take out the two wires my my chime has a two wire so I'm gonna show you that as well uh, and I'm gonna uh, remove that wire as shown on the instructions and put that fuse cap in there um, then once that's done then I will uh, complete my setup here and I'll show you the remaining part so I'm here um, at my chime box location so uh, so I'm taking out the wire and connecting the provided fuse um, in, on both of the wires and putting the cap wire cap in there so make sure you do that while turning off your um, the doorbell connections um, I don't have uh, the, the power off switch from my um, box so that's why I'm doing it carefully so make sure you do it very very carefully um, do not try to touch that open wire with your bare hands okay um, yeah I am screwing the wire cap and trying to connect that fuse and we did that so hit next the wiring work done and prepare for installation actually we already did this uh, outside the door perpendicular apparel That's door, perpendicular parallel. So it'll tell you the, the wedge. I, I installed the wedge in there, so hit next. Sorry about the lighting in here. Let me increase my brightness. So it will give you all the instructions on what to do uh, here as well. So we did that, installed a plate wedge plate and attach the extension we didn't have to attach the extension because the wire the wire itself is uh, pretty solid here it's the yellow light here that's actually not yellow light it's orange light and let's see it is wired but not flashing next 
Okay, there's a reset button. It's a good thing you don't put it put it locked, you know. If you lock it down before you set up, then you're gonna get it stuck. So hit reset on the back over here. Ready to connect. So there's a reset button over here. So you hit reset Ready over there. So you will hear Ready that sound. And it says ready to connect. Ready and you connect your network um, then it will show you a QR code that you need to show the QR code to the camera let me take out the plastic phone here okay. then once you show the QR code here see it will, it will, it will say QR code is scanned click over here I heard QR code is scanned and hit next then it's connecting right now See, the setup is completed and you will see the light over here, the blue light uh, blinking right now. And it asks you to give the doorbell name. So I will do front uh, doorbell and hit next. It asks you to take a, a cam plus like that, hit continue. Uh, maybe later I'll share that device later with other people. Hit next. Now you can attach your doorbell to the wall plate here. Uh, I know that. You can do that. Hit next. And now you can add a wise chime. So it asks you to pair the wise chime. To show you, I'm going to try here outside. Okay. So let's take this out. You have to click, tap next to add a wise time, hit next, plug and reset, the reset button over here, see, hit finish, alright, it asks you to upgrade the firmware, you can do that later, um, you can do that later. Now I can see my, the live footage here. See that? See? You can hear that. Perfect. All right, so I'm going to attach it now. Yes, I'm going to yeah, set that up. You need to hear that click sound. Put it up and push it down and you need to hear that click noise. It got stuck now. Now you cannot take it out. Once it you put it back, you hear that click sound. Um, then it's gonna be securely placed in there. And when you are seeing here, if you if you check my my phone here, you will see from head to toe, um, head to toe properly. Right? You can see everything. All right, looks perfect. All right guys, that's all for uh, the, the WISE camera setup. You will see the light still over there. I don't know if it's gonna keep uh, showing that light, uh, but that's all, it's pretty small, um, like mechanical doorbell, this small doorbell. So that's all for my setup, and uh, hopefully you like the video. Uh, make sure you hit that subscribe button if you're new to the channel, and you can share my video, like my video, if you like the video. And if you have any questions, do let me know, and I will definitely try to answer my best or you can always go to wisewood.com and ask the support people what to do if you are getting stuck on the instruction thing all right all right guys till then i'll see you next video bye, -bye.